but still feels yeah. good to be atop the wild card spot in the NFC. Dominant performance by Dallas last night, specifically if you finished the game and stayed for the whole fourth quarter, which you had to because a little bit surprising to see that it was 21 of spurt ability. I think they also have runaway ability with mm -hmm. their two running backs because Ezekiel Elliott didn't start yet. Team, an eagle-less team can carry into January, which yeah. I think is so important. Mm -hmm. So to have electric wide receivers, mm -hmm. a really sound quarterback, a defense that can just take your soul in the fourth quarter, and then a one-two punch, a sword and a sledgehammer running back room, that's a good team. Yeah, Zeke's game checks are huge. Sure. He he what, is this, what is the cell phone thing? Just that ball in the middle mm. of the field, squats, turns up field, mm. and he gets lost into the end zone. But what happens against yeah. the Bengals? There's six guys, wrap him up, and he loses the ball. Listen, the names for the Bengals offense are fantastic. Samaji P. Ryan, you're great. T. Higgins, you're really good. But how nice is it to have Jamar Chase back yesterday? Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, <laughs> Tyler Boyd, you're the name tags. Here we are, because we're winning and we're beating you every time we face each other. Yes. They look good, and they're still going to get Joe Mixon back. All right, guys, Jimmy Garoppolo, that was so hard to see him carted off for the 49ers, but they pulled out a win against the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. It was a game that we really thought off the season, and the reason why Hollywood scripts work so well is because we saw this happen to the 49ers already once this season. Trey Lord's Jimmy Garoppolo getting hurt, and now Brock Purdy has to come in, and you're like, okay, this is where it makes a great movie. The second hook, like, is this really going to happen again? But they have time. They have time to figure this out offensively. I think Brock Purdy can do it because I trust in Kyle Shanahan and what he's been able to do with this offense thus far. And I know Garoppolo had the experience, but it's still that playbook. It's still an offense that Kyle Shanahan yeah. has to run. And I think that defense is just that good that I think this does not derail them. The Niners, they're happy to be in the third spot in the NFC. Mm -hmm. But after such a costly win, and now it becomes, where do you go? What direct? A month or two ago, I had a childlike take on the 49ers where I said, uh, Cal Shanahan has to color outside the line. Sure. His offense, and he has to use all the crayons. I saw two different injury graphic, graphics involving Debo and CMC, oh, no. and I was like, we don't. And then the Jimmy Garoppolo news, and it's like, Kyle Shanahan is the crayon box, but like, is Brock Purdy the guy? I love this story. And someone got on me on Twitter after the last hour after I said, they've already done this before in Jimmy Garoppolo. And then Jason had the take of that. You know, I think if the formula is that you need a quarterback that makes good decisions and he needs completions between five uh -huh. and 15 yards uh -huh. and get the ball down the field. And if he has really, really uh, creative offensive playmakers, like we just mentioned, I think he can be the guy. And I think Kyle Shanahan, once again, is the guy that can get them there. And the defense, there is no one more equipped uh. to step up than this 49ers defense. I really, really think they're going to be okay. And what does sure, once again, the AFC continues to be a gift that keeps mm -hmm. on giving. The quarterbacks are so fun to watch. But Cincinnati sits in the five spot, and now the Chiefs in the two spot. So, Here's the question, though. One that I just don't want to decide until January 2nd. I also, I also don't want to answer this question because I think it's really tricky, but I do have uh, a late incoming answer that I'd like to pitch to you guys. Right. How about just the home team is the best team in the AFC Maybe right so? now? Maybe holders and the Essentially, it said they've got to play us in our house. I think every single one of these teams, the top three teams in the AFC, top four or five, you go to their house mm -hmm. and it, it gets really ugly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. down the stretch, mm -hmm. home field advantage for all of these teams. I think that's why this is so hot, the mm -hmm. top of the AFC, is I because know. you're not just fighting to get into the playoffs. A little bit, that's how I feel about the NFC. Get in, play mm -hmm. each other, it'll be fine. AFC, this is getting real spicy about who gets to host down the stretch because that's where I think things will really cook. No doubt. Yeah. Yesterday, you hate to see the cart out, but you got a couple of big names that we need an update on. Three big name quarterbacks suffered injuries. Yep, one more win for the Vikings over the Lions next week, and they potentially could clinch the NFC North. Many people, this says including me, chose the Jets as a potential upset. I said it would have, it would not have surprised me right. if they did it. All right, I didn't pick the Jets over don't, the Vikings. Don't start backpedaling right. now. Yeah. No, I'm coming down the stretch as a Vikings fan is, it's just where you swim. And it's like, honest to God, I just, walk, I, just, I just walked away from the TV or I was doing something. I just was like, yeah, here they go. Now we're going to have to rely on Kirk to prove himself once that again. 10 wins, Jamie. I've learned how to win different styles of game. The puzzle pieces, the quilt, if you will, you is go. coming together on a season that has amassed 10 wins. A little uncomfortable, those 10 wins, but I don't care. Whatever gets you to <laughs> early February, it's fine. Offensively, the defense has done great. You're right. Like, that's where you want to swim is in the two-minute defense if you're a Vikings fan. But the offense looks really good. How is it possible that we're here? And I think it was humbling in November, but that doesn't mean that it has to change how you feel about January and February. No, you guys say it. On, you had a silent appreciation for what the 49ers were doing, and now that this has come to be for the 49ers, you're kind of like, dang, you, you were liking yeah. what they were doing. And played out, just even looking at the highlight, looking at the box score, that is the NFC East in a, in a nutshell, in a game and an overall.